your house is useful, crucial, and it's what you're ever reluctant to do. This compilation of awesome cleaning hacks will actually change your life, turning home cleaning into an easy and joyful activity. What can be more exciting than bead weaving? Only collecting your seed beads scattered all around. My friend brings a vacuum cleaner. Calm down, I've got a life hack. Pull an old nylon sock onto a vacuum cleaner brush and collect all the beads from the table. Be careful to take off the sock while the vacuum cleaner is still on. Otherwise, you'll keep collecting the beads endlessly. Everything should be within easy reach while cleaning. This is why I've got an organizing belt. It's the hottest new cleaning trend. Cut the waistband with pockets off your old jeans you don't wear anymore. Put dusters, sponges, or gloves into the pockets. Put spray bottles into the belt loops. I've got all the necessary stuff in my organizing belt, from a cloth up to cleaning liquid. I wish I had an extra pair of hands to wipe off dust instead of me. Cleaning shouldn't necessarily be serious. Let's add some fun and joy with my DIY brush. Cut all the bristles off an old brush. Take a mop pad and cut off the sides. Cut the middle in half. Hot glue the right side with the wrong side to make a pocket. Turn it out and hot glue the edges. Insert the brush handle inside. Hot glue the corners together so that the handle keeps in place. Cut eyes and a muzzle out of black felt. Cut reflected light imitation out of white felt. Hot glue the muzzle to the smooth side of the brush. The remaining mop parts will also come in handy while cleaning. Put them on your hands like mittens and wipe off your furniture. These fluffy helpers will make your entire house spick and span in no time. Everyone loves to eat in front of a laptop. So do I. And who will clean the keyboard afterwards? My amazing jelly duster. Add four teaspoons of fluid thickener borax into a cup of warm water. Stir. Squeeze about five ounces of white glue into an empty bowl. Add food coloring into a half cup of water and pour the colored liquid into the glue. Stir and add the borax solution. Mix the liquid until thick. If it is way too watery, add more thickener without water. Here you go, now it's enough. The liquid turned into slime, which you can take in your hands. Sprinkle it with soda so it doesn't stick to your hands. Knead it and tear off a piece of a kneaded size. Store the rest in a tightly closed container in the fridge. My friend puts this strange slime onto the keyboard. I wouldn't say it looks nice. On the other hand, the slime's eaten all the crumbs. It's magic, and the keyboard is clean again. Yuck, the table is so dirty and sticky. But my friend is rushing to rescue me with her home disinfectant. Put a couple of thyme sprigs into an empty spray bottle. Fill three quarters of the bottle with water. Pour in vinegar up to the top. Close the bottle. Spray the disinfectant on the dirty table and wipe it off with a rag. It seems my friend likes the effect. Now she wants to disinfect everything around, including me. Don't do it, it's for the furniture. Come here, my favorite teddy bear. Achoo! Why is this teddy bear so dusty? It's time to clean the fur. Take a lint roller and clean a stuffed toy with it. I'm sure that my teddy bear likes this cleaning care. Besides, it's got an exclusive head massage. Stains just won't come off these glasses and spoons. Did they gang up on me? I have wasted all of my napkins. The only thing left is to sit and cry. Maybe my tears can help wash off the stains. But my friend is sure that I'm dramatizing things, and I should take a rag and vinegar instead. Spray some vinegar onto a rag and wipe the glasses with it. Vinegar takes away all the traces of my sadness and disappointment from the glass. 
And I have a different remedy for spoons. Use oil. Pour some oil onto a rag. Rub your kitchen utensils. Then polish them with a napkin. Finally, my napkins have come in handy. The spoons are shining as though they were brand new. I can use them instead of a mirror. It seems this microwave was cleaned last time when mammoths wandered around this kitchen. You'll have to do your best to scrape this dirt off. Stop worrying that much. I have an easy way. Use water with lemon. Pour water into a bowl. Squeeze some lemon juice into it. Cut a lemon and toss it in the water. Put it into the dirty microwave oven. Choose the maximum power setting and keep it on for five minutes. Then take out the bowl and wipe the oven with a wet cloth. You will have no trouble cleaning your microwave after this lemon therapy. Oh yeah, I'm a real cleaning guru. I will disinfect a sponge in the clean microwave oven. Dampen a sponge with water, squeeze it out, and put it into the microwave for one minute. I throw the sponge into the microwave with flair. Well, maybe I'm not that much of a cleaning guru. I'd better put the sponge neatly and wait a minute. Finally, it's ready. Watch out, dirt! An oven rack is never tidy enough, but we will change it with the help of our special sponge. Make cuts in a sponge up to the abrasive side. Make two long ones and three cross cuts so that you get a grid. With this cut sponge, your oven rack will be clean in the blink of an eye. Do you love to cook and hate to clean the stove? Then use our life hack. Take a grid and gas rings off the stove. Cover it with foil. Make holes for the gas rings and put them back. Put the grid back too. Now the stove is under reliable protection of foil. And you should just take a new piece of foil instead of removing oil splatter. Why may a toaster need a toothbrush? It has no teeth. It's easy. It's our new life hack. Clean all the crumbs from the thin hollows in a toaster with an old toothbrush. Be careful to take the plug out of the outlet. Put the toaster on its side and clean the inside indentations and details in the same way. A toaster has a removable tray underneath. Take it out and shake off the crumbs. A toothbrush helps take care of the toaster hygiene. No food remains should be left in your kitchen appliances. There's a dirty mirror in the bathroom, but a regular rug makes it worse. Use a window wiper for cars. A couple of simple motions and there are no blotches on the mirror. Have trolls had a bath in your sink? I know what to do. Your all-time favorite citrus fruit will help you clean your sink from lime scale or rust. Cut a grapefruit in half and sprinkle it with a lot of salt. Take the grapefruit and start scrubbing your tap, sink, or bathtub. Then wipe it with a cloth. Now just revel in the best smelling shower you may ever experience. Is there an unpleasant odor in your bathroom? Arrange an aroma bath for your toilet with our special balm. Put a cup of soda in a bowl. Add a half a cup of citric acid. Pour in a tablespoon of cleaning detergent. Mix it thoroughly. Put the mass into silicone molds and press it down. Let it cure for six hours. The toilet bombs can be stored in a jar or any other closed container. Toss the bomb into the toilet. It dissolves cleaning the toilet and removing unpleasant odor. Then flush it. Here you go. Now everything is clean and it smells good and fresh. Did you spill your tea on the floor? Don't worry, a mop will clean all the traces of the crime quickly. Or it won't. Something's wrong with this naked mop. My friends entered the room at the right time. Her socks will just come in handy. Pull on Terry socks instead of a mop pad. A dressed mop is way easier to clean the floor with. And my friend will have to say goodbye to her socks. Anyway, she wanted to get new ones. To avoid rinsing a duster too often, fold it four times. In this way, you can wipe off the furniture each time with a clean side of the duster. 
save your time and efforts. And call your friend in household gloves to help remove sticky dirt. If you don't want your gloves to tear while thoroughly cleaning, use our next life hack. Put a piece of cotton into each finger of the rubber gloves. Now you can scrape off the dirt as much as you need. Your gloves won't tear and your fingers will feel soft. Did you like our cleaning life hacks? Then write in your comments which of them you will use the next time you have a battle with dirt. Give your like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss our new practical ideas.